In today's video, we're checking out the The Tower Lucky Draw. Uh, it's a bit, bit late to this one, but it is a discounted draw and it has the legendary FHJ. Uh, the FHJ doesn't have any, any legendaries currently in the game, or it doesn't until this one. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd check it out and uh, get the draw and uh, show you all the stuff in it. If you do go on to the video, make sure to, of course, like and subscribe. And I decided not to do a full gameplay of the FHJ, just because obviously that'd be a bit difficult. Uh, so the other gun in the uh, in, in Lucky Draw is, of course, the Kilo 141. Uh, so yeah, if you do want my loadout for that, as that's the gun I'm going to be using today, Video. Make sure, of course, stay tuned in for that. Let's get into the video. There's your start up goes to Exchange Codem YT. They have 120 subscribers at the time of recording the video. And there, yeah, they do the mix of Battle Royale and multiplayer content. So, if you do go over and join the videos, make sure, of course, uh, make sure of course, like the video if you do enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the channel in general. Of course, I have link down below in the description and up on the screen here. Make sure to go over and be supportive, but leave me a support to comments what you enjoyed about the videos and be positive, but leave me positive comments what you and what you they can prove about the videos. So yeah, make sure over, be positive, be supportive, and let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are on the train mode. As you can see, we have the uh, Kilo 141 equipped. Uh, we're actually going to check out this one first, uh, just because it is a throwaway skin. Um, that one. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, default iron sights. And it's got a decent, a decent look to it, to be honest. The uh, the the uh, the white and gold and kind of red vibe go really well together. Um, yeah, a bit more of a castle kind of royal theme to it. Um, I like it. I like it. It's not a decent gun as well, so maybe one worth checking out if you do like, do like this kind of look. Yeah, definitely a very interesting skin. Um, not one I personally have used, obviously, because I've got some legendary and uh, mythic ones, but yeah. Here is the character skin. I believe there's an urban tracker skin. And again, kind of going with that kind of knight theme. Very cool to be fair. Um, definitely one I could see myself using. It's going to get a 7 out of 10. Uh, definitely very interesting. And of course, last but not least, the uh, the FHJ. So that's the effect. As you see, it's a bit of a castle. Uh, Here's the inspector, of course. And you see some quite cool lightning effects going on. And it's definitely a very interesting one. And you don't get, get to see much of it, obviously, because it's quite bulky. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually a decently cool one. Especially with the uh, with the custom kind of sight being a bit different to normal, what you normally get on some legendaries. <laughs> and of course, it's a custom um, explosion, e explosion effect as well. Which is quite cool. I do not think it has a custom explosion effect when it destroys, um, when it destroys the uh, score streaks. Unfortunately, but 
But yeah, I was a super nice, super nice, um, super nice gun skin actually. Uh, so I'm gonna get a, a seven out of ten. Uh, just because you don't really use FH there, apart from possibly in battle royale, or, or if you're more of an objective player, and just yeah, that's part of your job as to, to of course shoot down the score streaks. Uh, but it's quite a unique one. We've never had a legendary for this for this gun before, uh, so it's going to get ranked quite highly just because we don't have much to compare it to in terms of other FHJ skins. Um, so yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, definitely one worth checking out if you do use FHJ a lot. Um, not that I ever do really. So yeah, now of course check out the other stats for the Kilo 141. Um, now I did not put a red dot on this, on this gun because it does not really need one. Uh, it has some pretty decent base iron sights as it is. Uh, yeah, like, I was a bit more of a slow, more passive weapon I would say. Um, a bit more one for holding angles and kind of uh, being a like being a bit more passive. I did try playing with it and it didn't wasn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, def definitely more of a passive weapon I would say. Uh, the recoil is very, very, very manageable. Nice tip fire. It's actually not too bad to fit fire. Here's the recoil. It's basically all vertical, so super nice to control. Or at least at the start it's all vertical. So yeah, let's take out the, uh, the damage numbers of course. Uh, I, think, I think that's one place where it is a bit lack lacking is, uh, is, is the damage. 27, 34. So as long as you have to hit up body or headshot to get a, uh, a guaranteed three shot, uh, which is kind of in, kind of inconsistent compared to some other assault ARs, which does, which does make it slightly worse than some ARs. But I think I think the consistency at, at range is where it's going to stand out more. So yeah, same damage, same damage numbers there. And it drops down to 23, 27, 32. So yeah, super consistent. Never really drops below 20 damage, honestly. Ah uh, yes, yeah, super consistent damage, especially compared to some ARs, which, uh, which drop off a bit. I would say the, uh, like I said, the damage, the damage up close is not the best, so this is that's why it's more. And um, the decent recoil make it more of a passive, uh, make it more of a passive gun. But yeah, overall definitely a gun worth using. Um, so yeah, overall the Lucky Draws are a really nice one. Uh, definitely a bit, my, a bit more of my kind of uh, style of a draw. Um, of course the FHJ is a leisure FHJ, so probably won't be as popular as some other things. But we will see. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. And of course the uh, Kilo Form is a great and a really nice gun to use. It's been messed up for quite a while, uh, so you definitely want to check out if you haven't used it in a while. So yeah, the last game of course going to the Kilo 141 ranked game players.
Chris here's the ladder I use in this video. I think it's a bit of an actual range build, a bit more of a split build than what I normally use, but I had uh, a lot of fun using it. I uh, said so definitely want more checking out. Of course, no build needed for the FHJ as it has no attachments, so yeah. We have the more than a fixed pressure for the side speed team plus 25% damage at range. We have the MLP extended light bar for the minus 6.4% ADS bullet shred plus 20% damage at range and minus 2.4% horizontal recoil. We have the no stock, the minus 14% ADS time, plus 3% movement speed, and plus 20% ADS movement speed. We have the stem mag A for the plus 10 mag capacity. And finally, the grand escape tape for minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread.